fun with paint ms paint microsoft paint or simply paint is the most used and popular drawing program among children it is a simple drawing application in paint you can easily draw and color pictures features of ms paint it is a simple and easy to use drawing application paint is popularly used for creating modifying editing and printing images it is used to practice and improve drawing skills paint program is helpful in rectifying errors in scanned images starting ms paint let us revise how to open ms paint in windows 7 the paint window will appear as shown here working with tools in paint paint program offers various tools such as pencil eraser fill with color and a lot more these tools let the users draw and color a picture paint tools are available in the tools group on the home tab you can also draw various ready-made shapes directly on the canvas using the shapes group on the home tab let us now learn about some paint tools drawing tools pencil tool it is used to draw freehand drawing eraser tool it lets you erase an unwanted part of a drawing color picker tool this tool is used for selecting a color from a picture and use that color in some other part of the drawing fill with color tool this tool fills a picture or figure with the selected color from the color palette text tool it helps adding text into a picture magnifier tool this tool helps to increase the size of a picture or image brushes tool it lets you draw with different kinds of brushes shapes tool you can select predefined shapes from the shapes group on the home tab some of the shapes tools are described here line shape this shape is used to draw lines in any direction from top to bottom or left to right rectangle shape it lets you draw squares or rectangles of different sizes oval shape it is used to draw ovals or circles of different sizes a circle is absolutely rounded but an oval is egg shaped rounded rectangle shape this shape is used to draw rectangles or squares with rounded corners polygon shape it lets you draw a closed shape with straight lines curve shape this shape is used to draw curved lines using color picker tool let us learn how to copy a color from one area of a drawing to another using the color picker tool step 1 draw a rectangle using the rectangle tool available in the shapes group on the home tab step 2 fill color in the rectangle using the fill with color tool step 3 draw a circle as another object using the oval tool step 4 select the color picker tool in the tools group step 5 click inside the rectangle to copy the color step 6 move the mouse pointer over the circle and click inside it the same color is filled inside the circle drawing a call out shape call out shape is a text box the call out shape is useful when we wish to add speech bubbles in a drawing the 
here are three call out tools which are as follows rounded rectangular call out oval call out cloud call out to draw a call out follow these steps step 1 click on home tab step 2 select a call out shape from the shapes group step 3 click and drag the mouse in the drawing area to draw a call out let us now fill color and add text in the call out to add color step 1 on the home tab select the fill with color tool in the tools group step 2 choose the desired color in the colors palette step 3 bring the pointer on to the call out shape and click inside it to add text step 1 on the home tab select the text tool in the tools group step 2 Place the pointer on to the call out shape and click anywhere inside it. You will find a text box with a cursor inside it. Step 3. Now type the desired text. Selecting an image. The select tool is used to select any part of an object. This tool is generally used when you wish to move an object from one place to another within the drawing area the select tool is present in the image group on the home tab it provides two types of selection tools rectangular selection and free form selection rectangular selection this tool is used to select an object in a rectangular form as per the need To use this tool, follow these steps. Step one: Click on the Select button (down arrow) in the Image group on the Home tab. Step two: Select the Rectangular Selection option in the drop-down menu. Step three: Bring the pointer onto the drawing area. Click and hold the left mouse button, then drag the pointer. to create a selection notice a rectangular selection in the shape shown here free form selection this tool allows the users to select an object in a free form as per need to use this tool follow these steps step 1 click on the select button down arrow in the image group A list of options will appear. Step 2. Select the free form selection option. Step 3. Hold the left mouse button and drag the pointer over the drawing to select it. Once the selection is made, release the mouse button. Resize a drawing. Resize tool is used to make a drawing bigger or smaller. To resize a drawing, do as follows. Step one: Click on the Select tool present in the Image group on the Home tab. Step two: Select the Resize option. The Resize and Skew dialog box opens. Step three: Under the Resize section in the Horizontal and Vertical boxes, specify the values. To increase the size. specify any number more than 100 to decrease the size specify any number less than 100 the default value in these boxes is 100 enter value in the vertical box as 60 so the output will be as shown here skewing a drawing this feature lets you stretch a drawing to skew a drawing do as follows step 1 open resize and skew dialog box step 2 under the skew section specify the desired value in the horizontal and vertical boxes step 3 click okay flipping and rotating an object 
rotate tool lets you rotate or flip a drawing or an object. To rotate or flip a drawing, follow the steps given below. Step 1. Select the drawing using the rectangular selection tool. Step 2. Click on the rotate button down arrow. A drop down menu appears. Step 3. Select rotate right 90 degree to rotate the figure right by 90 degree. Step 4. Click rotate left 90 degree to rotate the figure left by 90 degree. After selecting flip vertical, the drawing will go upside down as shown here. Zooming an image. To increase or decrease the view of a picture or image, zoom option is used. Zoom in. This option enlarges an object to a specified percentage. To zoom in, do as follows. Step 1. Select the object you want to zoom in or enlarge. Step 2. Click on the View tab. Step 3. Select the Zoom in button icon in the Zoom group. Zoom out. This option decreases the zoom level. To zoom out, do as follows. Step 1. Select the object you want to zoom out. Step 2. On the View tab, click on the Zoom Out button in the Zoom group. Copying an object Copying an object means making a duplicate of the selected object. Copy and paste commands help you do so. To copy an object, follow these steps. Step 1. Draw a circle using Oval tool present in the Shapes group. Step 2. Select the circle using the Rectangular Selection tool. Step 3. On the Home tab in the Clipboard group, click on the Copy option. Step 4. Bring the pointer onto the Drawing area. Click Paste option in the Clipboard group. A copy of the circle will appear on the top left corner of the Drawing area. Step 5. Drag the copied circle where you want to place it on the canvas. Moving an object Moving an object means shifting an object from one place to another within the drawing area. Cut and paste commands are used to move an object. To move an object, do as follows. Step 1. Select the part of drawing that you wish to move using the Rectangular Selection tool. Step 2. Go to Home tab. Select the Cut button in the Clipboard group. Step 3. Then click on the Paste button in the Clipboard group. Step 4. The cut part will appear on the top left side of the canvas. Step 5. Drag and drop the selection to the desired place. Saving a drawing. To save a drawing, Step 1. Click on File tab. Step 2. Click Save option in the drop-down list. The Save As dialog box appears. Step 3. Enter a suitable name in the File Name text box. By default, a paint file gets .png as an extension. Step 4. Click on the Save button. Opening a saved drawing. To open a saved drawing, Step 1. Click on the Paint button. Select on the Open option. Step 2. The Open dialog box appears as shown. Step 3. Locate and select the desired paint file. Step 4. Click on the Open button. The selected drawing opens on the screen. Setting a picture as desktop background. You can easily set a drawing created in MS Paint as a desktop background. To set a picture as desktop background, Step 1. Open the paint file that you wish to set 
as desktop background. Step 2. Click on the paint button. Step 3. Select the set as desktop background option in the list. On the right pane, the following options are displayed. Fill. It fills the desktop with the drawing. Tile. It repeats the drawing in the form of tiles and fills the desktop. Center. The drawing is set in the center of the desktop. Saving a file in a different format. The paint program saves a file in the different formats like bitmap, BMP, Joint Photographic Experts Group, JPEG, Portable Network Graphics, PNG, and Graphics Interchange Format, GIF. To save your drawing in different formats, follow the steps. Step 1. Click on the Paint button and choose the Save option or click on the Save icon on the Quick Access toolbar. The Save As dialog box appears. Step 2. Choose the location and write the name of the file in the File Name text box. Step 3. Click on the drop-down arrow on the Save As Type list box. You will get different file formats. Select the desired option and click on Save.